y'all it's your girl Ari Monique and I'm back today with another video as you can see by the title we are here because you have questions about moving to Atlanta if you should move here or not should you should you not but I like it is it too many people so yes yeah, stay tuned to see my pros and cons of living in Atlanta and if you should move here or not okay so I made a list of things maybe I should have had that open already but I <laughs> I don't yeah I don't know where it is found it okay so I made a list of a few things these are not all the things some things I know that will just come to my head as I'm as I'm talking so first I will list the pros of living in Atlanta the pros of living in Atlanta depends on who you are and what you're trying to do with your life and yeah, pretty much. It depends on what you want to do in life. So if you're here, if you want to move here for entertainment reason, you want to work in the entertainment industry, I definitely feel like Atlanta is a good place for you because so Atlanta is growing. It's definitely growing and so many movies are being filmed here. Um, as you know, they call Atlanta Black Hollywood now. Um, Tyler Perry Studios is here, which is awesome. It's so, so big. Um, I actually went to Tyler Perry's, Tyler Perry Studios when I went to Wild and Out, that's where they were filming Wild and Out last year. And um, yeah, they've been filming Wild and Out the last few seasons at the Tyler Perry Studios. But anyway, I would say it's good for reasons like that. Opportunity, um, just as a whole, I feel like Atlanta has a good job market. Um, the pay depends on, again, what you do. Um, they say, I'm going to say that because that's on my cons list. Anyway, opportunity is one. Networking is another thing. They have so many networking events. Um, I go to a few of them. It's a few people that I know just from meeting people from working in random places like bars. Like I met this girl named Shay and she's she does interviews and stuff and she had an event. I went there. That's when I had my orange wig on at the time, you know. Had the orange wig and they was loving it. The girls was loving it. Um, so diamond and um princess from crime mop was there and diamond loved my wig and we exchanged information and that's a that's a connection that's networking so um networking events is great um atlanta has some good food when i say some good food i mean some good food because when i moved down here i gained about damn near 20 pounds and i know i'm not the only one no i'm not the only one but um yeah they have good food they have good soul food they have everything i got like little off deck restaurants it's a lot of black owned restaurants so my mom came here i took her to black owned restaurants only you gotta support my people um it's always something to do in atlanta it's always something to do whether you want to read a book go to a book club if you want to go to the the real club if you want to go to a bar it's always something to, something to do if you went to art art shows all of that good stuff only thing you have to do is look on eventbrite and figure out what's going on in the weekend or instagram that's why hashtags are good on instagram because you can find things to do um atlanta is very diverse it's a lot of people moving here from all over the world so atlanta is very diverse the nightlife is great atlanta is known for strip clubs so strip clubs and nightlife um I don't really go out that much, but when I first moved here, I was definitely in the club every weekend. Hey, turn up, turn up. Mm, mm, mm. That was me. But now I'm a changed woman. I don't really go out anymore. I'm going to be 27 in <laughs> about like two and a half weeks. I'm going to be 27. Um, so, yeah, my life is great. The cons. And this is just what I have on my list. I might some thoughts might come back to my head and i'm gonna add it to either or list the cons is the traffic of course if you lived in big cities like atlanta chicago new york la you know you're used to traffic um so if you're moving from one of those places to atlanta if you're moving from a big city with a lot of traffic the, the traffic won't bother you here um oh sorry kick the um ring light but yeah the um the traffic is horrible um it just is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. 
maybe people stop driving so fast, you won't, it won't be so many accidents and that won't back up traffic every day. But of course you have your traffic, your, your rush hour traffic, the morning traffic, the after work traffic, but Atlanta is traffic on Saturday. It's like all day. Like if you want to drive to the city just to, you know, kick it or whatever, whatever you want to do. If you drive into the city on a Saturday, like one o'clock, it's traffic. So be prepared. Um, the cost of living. And that's where we get a little tricky because, okay, so if you want to live in the city, meaning like um, the Atlanta, the Midtown, the Buckhead, the Brookhaven, the North Druid Hills, those are all neighborhoods in the city, in the city. You're going to pay to live in the city. And, um, you know, some, some things might not be as high for other people as it is for some people, you know. Some people might think that um, $1,300 is okay for a one bedroom. You know, some, it, it just all depends on where you're from and what you're willing to pay. So um, I would definitely say Atlanta is cheaper than New York and it's cheaper than LA. So um, that's a good thing because everybody always wants to move to those places. How do I fix my braids? What's going on here? Fix the braids. Y'all see my new braids? I had a little silver in them. But um, yeah. Atlanta is cheaper than New York, it's cheaper than LA, so that's a good thing. But again, you might get a one bedroom that's small as hell, like a 550 square foot or a 600 square foot, and um, it's, it might be a decent amount. But you might not have no washer and dryer on the inside. You, it, it all depends on your preference. Um, I can give an example. When I moved from the city, because when I moved to the city, as y'all know, if y'all don't know, I have a video of why I moved to Atlanta. I will drop that in the description as well, or it'll pop up at the top here. Um, when I moved to Atlanta, I was living in student housing downtown, and then I moved to Marietta. And I lived in a one-bedroom, and I believe my one-bedroom was 609 square feet. And, um, square foot, sorry. Don't come for me. Um, it was 609, and... I believe I was paying about eight fifty for a one bedroom, which wasn't bad. I was cool with that because I was coming from downtown where I lived with three other people, and I was paying eight eighty five. And then I moved into the two bedroom, which I was paying nine fifty. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm cool. I I can do that, you know. So I um, lived out there, a small apartment. I moved to where I live now, which is bigger. It's about seven hundred eighty five square foot, and it still don't come with washer and dryer, but I have washer and dryer connections. So it just all depends on what you want to pay and how big you need your space to be and what area if you want to be safe. Because let me tell you something, you can get something cheaper. You definitely can. But will you be in a nice neighborhood where you feel safe? Will your car get broken into? That's also other things you need to consider. So research the area, research the apartment. Do not move in. Don't sign anything online. Because let me tell you. You will get there and it will be probably the project. So if you're looking to move to Atlanta, have your list of apartments ready that you would like to go look at. Maybe like stay in a hotel for like a few days or just figure it out that type of way. But also have your list of places that you want to go look at. You have to go look at them before you sign. You need to go look at them on the weekend. You need to make sure the trash ain't piled up outside. But that's just me. I don't know what y'all like. Moving on. Besides the cost of living. Dating. They're doing construction. So if you hear anything, that's who these was barking at. Um, dating. Dating fucking sucks. It sucks. When I say it sucks, it sucks. Um, a lot of people use dating apps, and I talked about that before, so I will leave that at the top as well. Um, dating in Atlanta is hard. They have TV shows about dating in Atlanta. Like dating in Atlanta is hard because. I don't even know if dating is just dating in Atlanta. I think dating overall right now sucks because of the fact that social media and so many people are, they don't know how to have a conversation. Everyone wants to, wants to text and they want to use the dating apps. But then when it's time to text or have a phone call or be on FaceTime, there's no connection because people are socially awkward. And that's a problem that I have with people today. Like, people don't know how, how to hold a conversation. How are you going to want me to be your girl? How are you going to want me to be your girl? And you don't even know how to talk to me. Make it make sense. It don't. Um, that is everything on my list. But um, 
I like Atlanta. Um, at first I didn't, but it's cool now. Will I stay here? I'm staying here for a while. I don't know how long I'll be here. My family likes Atlanta. They come visit me. My mom's been out here. My sister's been out here multiple times. So, um, yeah. I feel like Atlanta is a place that you will grow to love. It's a lot of people here. And yes, they're building on top of building, but they're trying to accommodate all of the people that are moving here. Atlanta is one of the highest, is one of the, um, on the top five list of cities of gentrification. Um, they have DC as, I think DC is maybe number one, but Atlanta is on that list of gentrification. They're going in, they're updating the urban areas and building them up and the cost of living is steady rising and they're steady adding new things like the Brave Stadium. So everything in the area that I kind of live in, the prices are rising because of that stadium. So you just got to get in where you fit in Atlanta. Um, I love it. I love it. They got good food. The food is the best. I had an argument that Atlanta had the best chicken wings and I still stand on that Atlanta got the best chicken wings, period. And that's that on that. Um, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I'm missing? Um, that's another thing. Atlanta is a fake it till you make it city. That what, that's what Atlanta is. It's fake it till you make it. Everybody is down here acting like they rich and they got it and they don't. They live at home with their mama or they live in their car. They sleep on somebody's couch, but they got on fake designer belts and fake designer shoes. Make it make sense because it don't. Be catching the train and the bus. <laughs> How you on the bus with designer shoes? How you on the bus with Balenciagas? I didn't get this one. They, you know, they really, they do that. I, I just can't. But yes, Atlanta is fake it till you make it. When I say people are down here really faking it till they make it, Atlanta is full of frost. That's one thing I can say. It's full of frost. Everybody down here. As I said, fake designer clothes, um, fake jewelry, um, like, yeah, like, who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? Make it make sense. You know, like, I don't want, let me, I don't want no man that's going to come up to me and think they're going to give my number and you got on these big fake shoes. You got on this, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, I don't know. That's just my preference. I'm not. I'm not for it. Um, but if you're gonna wear it, I feel like you ain't gotta be. Okay, now diesel, you ain't gotta be all flashy about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest problem with Atlanta. It's fake it till you make it. But and they always said fake it till you make it. So that's what these folks is doing now. This T-shirt is bothering me, child. But um, yes, that is it for this video. If you want to move to Atlanta, I definitely think that you should. If you're coming for the right reason, if you're coming for work, if you got a, a banging job opportunity, if you come in to pursue your dreams, like I know LA is very expensive. Atlanta is very more affordable. If you want, if you have the idea of moving to LA and living this lifestyle, I definitely think that you could come to Atlanta as well um, because Atlanta is growing. We are, I feel like Atlanta is the next place after LA to move to if that's the industry that you want to go in. But, um, Yes, Atlanta's great. It's growing. The prices might be going up, but there's nothing we can do about it. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. Turn the notification bell on to make sure you are alerted whenever I post a video. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Monique. And it's your girl. And I'm out.